What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead of War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode, uh, we are kicking off a, a large number of battles uh, in the Americas to knock out some enemy cities and effectively start the steam roll. So now we are attacking the capital of Texas with a large Native American force, but it looks like it's quite significantly depleted. Uh, but let's crack on and engage. We will not. This will not destroy the faction because um, they do still have Santa Fe. But we have an army uh, en route to Santa Fe to take them out as well. So a number, yeah, we've got a large number of cities uh, under siege. And so it begins the final chapter. Although we still have a couple of cities to take in uh, Europe. We need to just maintain our, maintain our momentum in the Americas while that's being resolved. So, yeah, that's not, terrain not terrible. Let's set up, set up the guns, because we are on the offensive, but they are significantly outnumbered when it comes to artillery, so they will be, this, this artillery unit is bugged, they will be forced to come at us. I think the areas like there might be able to, they might be able to use the geography to their advantage. But we have got buckets of melee troops to help out. So you don't have anyone on this flank, so I suppose the bulk of my cavalry is going to be there to help. shot the Native American warriors because you should be able to do that. There we go. You can hide. Bend it by yourself. Oh. Oh, you shot and shot those tribal gunners. You can round shot you're a bit far away. And it's ironic really that the it is definitely my weaker flank that the enemy is deployed on. <laughs> the native troops have picked off some tribal gunners. Good hits, good hits. Target. Switch to round shot and start bombarding the chief's bodyguard until the enemy makes themselves known to us. There is a big block of. Ah, oh, there's the warrior society. Infantry that's redeploying, let's just start running. Shrapnel shot. Keep my cavalry uncommitted, see if we can time it right. Shattered. There we go. Perfect. You have to charge the bowmen. They recovered. Let's try and make sure we focus on the. There we go. There's some of the other troops. They 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 previously didn't commit. Trap 
was still alive and kicking. Okay, there's another unit. Focus on shattering these units, they don't come back. Shattered, shattered, shattered. Broken, shattered. Excellent. We're not trying to chase them down and kill them. Target my artillery. Okay, this has gone pretty well, but now we have to try and find where their other units have gone. So you are definitely all gone. And they were around here. Keep all my artillery on round shot. Shoot at the Chief's bodyguard all the way in the rear. There they are. Okay, let's push a camel unit up. Try and take out the uh, General's bodyguard unit. Looks like these guys are trying to come back and get us. Bring my light cavalry over here to mop up those bowmen. Come on, Chief's bodyguard, you want to play with the camos? Right, the bowmen are recovered. Camels wide. Let's bring infantry into the mix. You know, the camels go after the Warrior Society. Off the bowmen, definitely retarget all these units in the center. Oh, they're shattered, they're shattered. Good stuff. Just bring my cavalry back then because it looks like they're probably in a mood to just chase after my cavalry the whole time. Chief's bodyguard came back. Most of my army's not really getting a look in, but that's okay. Here we can get camels running. And at some point you have to turn in directly into my front line if they're gonna chase us. The Warrior Society's getting it wants to come in. Load faster, damn it. There we go, the Hindus are ready. Soon. Sikhs are ready. Nearly. Excellent. You men fire it off, she didn't kill all my camels. Fire Try charge the warrior society. Just 
hoping they would. They were wavering, just hoping they'd break, but apparently not. Uh oh. My shrapnel shot's done a lot of friendly fire. Yeah, you'll come back, that's fine. many troops in but it looks like that might be it unless there's someone hidden which there usually is as the Native Americans but then they normally show themselves because they kind of have to no nope, there we go bit of a bit of a lukewarm one to kick us off with excellent destroy the government building rebuild the troops destroy the farm upgrade the plantation Upgrade the cobbled roads. Growth is really high right off the bat. 6% pop growth. There's not many people anyway, but so it's still going to take 68 turns. So you're pushing up towards Santa Fe. Uh, you were holding off against the Russians that were here. So let's put you guys up to here. Because you men can position ready to push against Yankton. You men get up on the border near the Iroquois Confederacy. And yep, there's the New Spain at war. Well, let's mop them up first. Because that will destroy New Spain. And then we can see how we want to break up our offensive. West and East. We're not going to go for the Iroquois Confederacy just yet. But we will go for them. Which one? Of Depends how you want to do it. We might want to try and advance at the east coast a bit more first. So we're going to go back to our roots in this one. It's a nice flat field. Let's get our melee troop, uh, uh, musket arm troops in the centre. Mercenaries on one flank. Two melee units on one flank. Two melee units and a bow unit on the other. Split the cavalry. Split the general. <laughs> Put the general on a flank. Push, push, push. I don't care if they, they may interrupt my charge. I don't care. We will make it. Although I will commit my Desert Camel Mercenaries and my Lancers to the fight here. Get my guns to engage their infantry. They say they appear to change their mind. Let's get my Hindu warriors to charge them. Nope, they appear to want to break off. That's fine. They've changed their mind. Native warrior auxiliary, eh? Do not care. routing that's fair enough bring you pull you guys back like so 
if they break, it'll only be because they get they'll they'll come back. Bowmen are in. Hindu warriors go off the colonial light. Interesting. They'll come back. That's not a problem. Pushing in. All my artillery focus fire the colonial lights. This enemy general coming in. You men form square. Some swordsmen push in. Good you men bunch up. Limber. Artillery, folks fire. That, that all that infantry, all that artillery should come back. Form up. Really quite aggressive, and it almost burned me. That's right, you men come through the gap. Just a bunch of camel mercenaries to the stakes, but that's to be expected. You're unhappy because you're being fired upon. You've killed the enemy general. Okay, you may focus on them. Get my Sapahi up here. Interesting, actually, they're both shattered. of artillery power. They split our line but we managed to spin it back around against them. The new musketeers spin around and charge. Never in doubt. <laughs> well these guys, these guys, if the battle goes on for too much longer, it could cause a problem. They could get to my artillery. But I don't think it is going to carry on too much longer. Ooh. Okay, so a bit overly aggressive there. Uh, victory is a victory. We still destroyed an entire faction. But it was a bit over aggressive. So let's be a bit more careful next time. Okay, so you guys go this way. Not too far, because you've got... You do have a... There is an enemy army up ahead of us. Or a bunch of enemy armies up ahead of us. Rid of the university, turn that into a um, madrasa. Although, actually, you one of you can keep pushing because when you're in position, you and this army here can push on Yankton. So, you're up there ready to fight. We've got actually, can you guys leave Savannah? You can. Join the push. You guys aren't there yet. But this army, let us attack the city of Charleston and capture it from the 13 colonies. It will be the start of the end and we're going to have more um, armies arriving by ship and when that happens we'll be landing them in Maine and pushing down from the north. So we're going to produce multiple fronts for them to try and defend against us. They will crumble. And if we don't manage to destroy those armies that are in the field, they will slowly get more and more depleted as we capture their cities. So the artillery hold out here. Big fat infantry line out on the left. Three units of melee infantry are going to go through the town. Some cavalry are going to flank around the town. The other cavalry plus more general are going to come around on the left.
something like that. It's quite... Our units are quite... Uh, thick, so they should resist any cavalry charges they get sent against them pretty well. The line may get more stretched out in due course. I just want to keep actually I'm able to do it now. Maximize our firepower a little bit more. Don't care about any of the cavalry that's pushing in. Get our artillery to engage their infantry. One to engage the cavalry. Yeah, they may get the first shot off against us, but hey, don't be upset, fella. You'll be fine once you start shooting back. Let's put the melee infantry through more rapidly. I suppose the main thing is that we want to start wrapping around the flank. So can't he smash into these dragoons? Pushing up the edge. <laughs> Artillery fire coming in. You're firing your bows. We will be soon. Target my artillery fire to focus on this enemy concentration. Excellent, Felain. Push the line. Lances push the line. Something like that. Defenses. I mean, the, the, the movement impacts definitely do work. It's the colonial militia. It's one unit knocked out on the flank. Once you guys reload, that'll be the 46th colonial line. Will be eviscerated. Cavalry is not going to really get a look in soon. There we go. Pull back our cavalry because there's lots of stakes. We will tolerate friendly fire. Killed their general. Go get him, General. Yeah, the noose is tightening. The noose 
This is tightening. So shatters, shatters, it sends you guys in as well. Oh, there they go. That's the last unit on the field. You have to wonder, they're, they're, they're going, oh, what's that noise? Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Those guys they didn't care. It's an army of gymnasts. And that was a good victory, Giles Coggershall. There you go, the Carolinas are taken. Get rid of this. Upgrade you, and you, and you. And upgrade the roads. Excellent. I suppose it is a more complete victory if we dominate the coast and we do have plenty of ships. Although you guys are a bit knackered. Okay. So you can't move. You fellows may actually go for Maine now. Just land and give them a problem. Oh, no ports. Go and raid Quebec. Ah, that's where the British are hiding. That's going to be so useful for you, Britain. So useful. I mean, you could go for Quebec and knock them out, but you couldn't you? But you're not going to. Uh, right, our next territory to attack is Agvictuk. Because Quebec destroyed our ships. Actually, you might wait one more turn just to get another turn of attrition. You have to wait, regardless. You're waiting to see what the Brits do. We're waiting to see what the Brits do here. I mean, I could smack the fleet, but really it's kind of not very necessary. Second more shoals being destroyed. Nizhny needs to be destroyed. Okay, largely, let's just let another turn take down. Yeah, they, they don't have any chance. We just have overwhelming fire superiority. We need to pick our moments wisely. Okay, it looks like they're going to leave... Ah, yeah. So our, our trade fleets are going to be exposed. But we're making so much money, you know what? I don't really care. Go out in 13 colonies. You can damage our trade if you like. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, and we will take one of your ships into our fleet. Ha <laughs> ha! You fools! Uh, I'll see. Let's see what one of our sick freights can do. Hey, they killed one. They traded. Good work. We're going to go after another sloop that's in the Gulf of Mexico. They're going to go off and cause mischief, but nothing that we really care about. Uh, you know, you know what? Try it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Back you go. You're going to try now. We're not within range. And now our army's a bit hackered. 
Well, our navy's a bit knackered, I should say. Well, let's see what our Zhebek can do. Didn't do anything. They actually captured it. <laughs> ah, well, we had to do something with it. Come on, let me in. Let me in. A bit of coffee. Okay. Agent detected. Yeah, they've just they've completely given up the opportunity to protect London. New port emerges. Trading port. Fleet destroyed. Fleet destroyed. The fleet arrives. See. This is the problem you can have. I mean, could bust straight in for Boston. Well, let's land on... Actually, let's not land necessarily. Let's go have a look. Okay, let's land you here. Because you can go after Fort Nashwack. And we will take that. You men raid Plymouth. And you men jump straight in and go for Plymouth. Yeah, but not much in support either. Okay, I may deploy another army here just to make sure that we don't get caught out by a hidden bunch of stacks in Albany. Okay, let's raid the college. Oh, New York is unprotected. Yib. They had no garrisons, so we could. We, that's why we demanded their surrender. So that was all of you guys done. So let's get rid of all these. So in Europe itself. Okay, I think we got enough stuff. Well, you need to do one more turn of replenishment. You are ready to go. I mean, I think we've got enough. We've got enough troops in Britain to deal with the British. You can go at some point. You're still replenishing. Hey, you men are ready. Okay. Off you go. New man in bark. Didn't like me doing doesn't like me doing clicking and dragging. Well there's so much oh, I can see so much of the map. Out you go. Let's repair this, build a madrasa in Galway. You guys are all on your way. And the agent. Cool, let's get these repaired. The final bits of damage done by the Russians. Get rid of the seminary in Karelia. Excellent, you men also head over here. There's no reason they have to all congregate at that port, but it just makes me feel better. Okay, now you guys. We have Portugal, don't we? Yes, we do. Yes, we do have Portugal. First of all, construction. 
let's get building. Because then once it's done, it's done. Good, it's done. Lots of recruitment, not that we really need to pay don't really need to pay attention to most of it. They have focused their attention all on Scotland. Yes, you can try and kill us if you like. However, yep, it's a fairly bog standard capture here in London. Let's push you guys out into the channel. We'll gobble you up. So you then go to Calais for repairs. Let's move this navy into there. What do you want to do first? Do you want to mop up Ireland? I think we might want to mop up Ireland. Although the attacks... Yeah, I'm going to mop up Ireland. The Siege of London is very tempting, but... Let's consolidate our control over the, the Emerald Isle. We've got plenty of battles to be doing over the next few episodes. We are not going to be short of a bit of action. That can be, that can be said for certain. I mean, we still have Württemberg to deal with. But one thing at a time. One thing at a time. So this army is pretty depleted. But I just want to go in and wipe them out. And then we can push another British fleet out into the sea. And here will do, I think. See, this is a, definitely this is a European recruited Mysorean army because it's just full of bulk. It's all it's all okay. None of it's in exciting. It's just bulk. I think that's, that is the best way to describe it. So that is unit of pikes on this flank, isn't it? Coming in. Yeah, 226 pikemen. The thing is, Kildabashi infantry aren't exactly bad. They're not bad infantry. You wouldn't go, oh no, they're rub rubbish. I mean, they're not fantastic, but they're not terrible either. For this corner off a little bit. Now the Jaeger are in position. Let's let my musket fire whittle them down. They've deployed some stakes, which is smart. I mean, I'm not going to have them there, let them just stay alive forever. We are going to want to do something like this. And these pikes are interested in my other cavalry block, I would imagine. You can do that. There you go, I got them to move. But yeah, all this cavalry is dedicated to hunting down that one pike block. Push up. Yeah, the Swiss pikemen might get a charge off, so let's make sure my Sepahi are in the right position. Although there's only 262 of them. Oh, they, they stop for a minute, so these units may actually get to fire off three beautiful volleys of musket fire. They've got in down there.
keeps in mind when she's going to counter attack the pikes. starting to kind of panic a little bit. Team in charge into the rear of the pikes. Cause them some upset about being charged in the rear. Ooh, that was a artillery shot coming in. Let's just retarget these bad boys. Skirmish cavalry after that unit of pikes. Ah, they made it. Okay, you men run away one side. Yeah, you made one unit out. You should must feel very proud of yourself. The idea is you guys spread out. They will pick someone to focus on. Then, we'll, then the others will charge in and finish them off. Well, the U-may have to charge into the rear here to make sure they don't chew up another unit. These planks are good. They're going to be now charging. Cavalry is just in the worst position, the wrong side of the stakes. See, you came back. To charge the lancers in from one direction, they'll initiate combat, and my lancers are charging from another direction, and the cavalry will come in from another direction. There we go, they're just getting swamped. Stuck in lead. Artillery did a fantastic job at scaring off my own troops. You've been surrounded. Volunteers are going down. There we go. They don't pursue them all the way, their estates. continue just to make sure. Artillery ceasefire. Good kills. But yeah, we just want to make sure that Ireland is. Well, that the British troops in Ireland are completely destroyed. Don't want them going up to any mischief. Nice. That's that done. Dead and dead. Good. And then you push out that small British fleet. Two first rates. They'll do some damage. Yeah, we lost seven ships. Heavy first rate Drake. No wonder. 
to you chaps replenish or repair. Nope, you repair. Okay, can we leave Dublin? Hey, hey, hey. We can! Hey, hey. Okay, push up. No one's going to push back because we've got these ships. This ship's control zone is covering the strait, so they're not going to actually push back and get us. I mean, we are going to want to raid Cambridge, stack up on London. Okay, that's on my so London's probably how I'm gonna end the episode. The Madrasa. Advance. Push, push, push. I mean you you guys might just go for Michigan Territory. Uh, there's currently no one holding it, so it's just Let's just take take that a little bit. And you guys push up. Build a madrasa. Build a farm. Get rid of the village longhouse. Get rid of the subsistence farms. You guys are fine holding there. Kentuck territory can, is, chill, is chill enough that we can move out. Madrasa. Hello. Hello. 13 colonies advance force. Bash them. Let's see if they bring the Williamsburg garrison in. They do. Interesting. Sweep them to one side, and then the following force can attack Williamsburg. And got all the stuff going on in the north. Oh, we're going to be busy. Busy few episodes. Don't worry, I will end the episode. We'll, we'll, the end of the episode will be the, the uh, assault on London. So the next episode. We can kick off with that. Artillery, just park yourselves up in this paddock. It's another European bulk army. Real wide line. That's fine though. Make sure my in my main infantry line is up first. Everyone else, just mosey on over. Let the artillery focus on the infantry. You can step if you like. You're only clone your light. I do not care. them you want to go after. Fine. We'll just form a square then. My troops don't have to worry about them. You're going to, you're going to do the same. Then you're welcome to. The question is, are you going to sweep into them? Or are you being... Oh, you're going after my kids. Or... No, you're not. Because Obashi will have you. See, broken. That's not a very good position for you. Hello, hidden troops. Smash them. Ignore the musketeers. There we go. Native lance. Let's go for the native musketman auxiliary. The reinforcements are coming in. They're engaging our little line. Let's do some, ah, oh, let's do some pounder battery, we're out of range. Hey, we stumbled into their 
native warrior line. Yeah, you managed to make one of my infantry units route. They'll be back. And you guys are going to be in an even more perilous position. Native Lancers and General's Bodyguard go for the enemy reinforcements. That infantry unit has come back from routing, so they're just going to form up and shoot. Lots of enemy stuff has been killed here. Berlin pushed back up here. Just make sure, make sure things are shattered. enemy position is deteriorating significantly. 66. Put a gun on them. Put a gun on you guys. You guys. You guys. Actually, maybe not you guys. I think my Belayin is going to say hello to you. Sports artillery sneaking around. Cavalry storm out from the other direction. Yep, the entire enemy line is crumbling. the artillery defeated these men are going to charge into the back of the 77th and hopefully make them rout charge and these sipahi going after the 74th They went yee-haw, but they lost a lot of... Oh, no, no, you're going after the general. They lost a lot of men pretty rapidly there. Artillery stopped shooting. What's that coming over the hill? Even more Mysorian troops. This is why we recruit so many, so that we can use them as fodder. Swarm! Oh, they've broken. Oops. There we go. There we go, the 70. Oh no, the general. I was going to say, the 77 is dealing with a lot of punishment. Nice. Is there any more of yours? Marines. Let's speed this up. So I'm going to try and run people into position like this. You men hit them, you men get in here. These men storm past. Oh, let's 
bring the cavalry over just in case they have to do the mopping up. Surround and destroy them. They're used to fighting on ships, so you're used to just fighting overwhelming numbers of Indian troops. We have shields. And yeah, they can't take that punishment for long. already just completely destroy them. We've annihilated their force regardless. We can push on towards Williamsburg. Hey, there's actually no one in Williamsburg, so we'll, we'll take that. Push up. Address a coffee workshop. Coffee workshop? Warehouse, not a workshop. Excellent. Make sure the roads are all being upgraded. Get one sloop into Georgetown. And here at St. Mary's. There we go. Block him up. Yeah, you're ready to attack there. You're ready to attack Moose Factory. Yes, sir. You're ready to attack Santa Fe. My god, this is going to be devastating. So I imagine this army is going to be out of commission for a very long time. They are going to hate us. Yep. For a while. You know what? Exempt you guys from tax. Although it doesn't actually help growth very much, but I suppose maxing out this farm will help as well building more roads. Now let's take you guys out of here. Let's bring one of these sloops further north. I mean, yeah, we've got a lot of fighting ahead of us. But. Actually, at some point I have to kill Württemberg, because <laughs> that's a lot of a lot of armies that, be, that can be used in the fight as well. You know what? Let's just kick it off. Not, not, not that I'm actually going to fight it at this precise moment in time. But I'm setting it up so that I will have to do it. If I do that and mass everyone around behind them, they don't get intercepted. We stack loads of troops in for the assault. And that's going to be fun. But what we want to do first is take London. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the capture of the British capital. Cheers everyone.